Welcome back to the Demon Slayer Gaming Channel. We're going to be continuing our Final Fantasy XIV Dungeon Guide series today. And we're going to be taking a look at the Trial Dungeon Kugane Ohashi. And here you'll be fighting Yojimbo. Ujimbo has a untelevised small tank buster called Wakazashi. This will do a considerable amount of damage to the tank, but you don't need to pop a tank cooldown to help reduce the damage from it. When you cast Ino Shikashu, this will summon multiple butterflies onto the platform where par party members are standing. They will then explode into circular AoE, so you'll just want to move out of these. When you cast Metagiri, this will do party-wide damage that you'll just need to heal through. After you get him down 15%, then he will run to the center of the platform and begin a transformation. And turn into our good friend Gilgamesh. Whenever Gilgamesh first comes to the platform, then he will do two sets of line AoEs across the platform that you'll want to position yourself in the openings for, along with circular AoEs around every party member, that when they explode will then have smaller donut AoEs around them. So you can position yourself very close to other party members with the initial explosion, and this should leave small openings where the donut AoEs are afterwards. When he casts Tiny Song, everyone will want to group up. If you are not near other party members, then you will be affected by the Minimize effect, reducing your damage to pretty much nothing. After this, he'll summon a row of Dragon Heads on one side of the platform. You'll just want to move into the openings, wherever those are, to avoid getting hit by these. Bitter End is a small tank buster ability that he will use quite regularly throughout the fight. After the dragon heads cross the platform, then they will do a party-wide AoE that you'll need to heal through. He'll then cast Dainy Song one more time. Followed by his line AoEs. And the circular AoEs plus donuts. When he moves to the center of the platform, then he will target both tanks with a proximity AoE. Which you'll just want to spread out to on opposite sides of the platform to reduce this damage. He'll then have two different embodiment adds that you'll want to kill as quick as possible. You'll want to keep them separated. And during this time, you will have to deal with the circular and donut AoEs. Shortly after the donut AoEs explode, they will explode one more time. So you can stay in the areas where the openings were or move after the initial explosion. After both embodiments are dead, Gilgamesh will slam down in the middle of the platform, causing a decent amount of damage to the entire team before jumping onto the tank. After he jumps back to the platform, he will summon multiple lightning orbs with the safe zone being underneath where he currently is. After this, he will cast Enchain on both tanks and healers. You will want to move as far away from Gilgamesh as you can get at this time. If you are too close to him, then you will have a huge damage reduction on your iron chain, causing it almost be impossible to be killed. If Gilgamesh finishes casting Hell's Gate while anyone is enchained, it will immediately kill them. Once 
when Gilgamesh casts Masamune, then you'll just want to move out of the line AoE that he does. After Masamune, he'll cast Zanma Zanmai, which will reduce everyone in the party to 1 HP. You'll want to quickly heal up because afterwards he'll do Epic Storm Splitter, which will do an initial line AoE that will then cause AoEs to ripple out from it. So you'll want to stand just on the outsides of this AoE and then jump into it after the initial explosion goes off and then summon multiple dragon heads to the platform again, and a large set of lightning orbs. So you'll just need to move away from these lightning orbs while also positioning yourself in the opening for the dragon's heads. And this should be it for Kugane Ohashi. I hope this helped everyone out, and if it did, please make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I will catch you on the next one.